What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Welcome back to the lab. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you're going to like what we got going on over here. Today, I'm going to show you how I use the pen tool to make it glow. Then, I'm going to show you how I use the transfer mode to add artificial lights to make the glow look realistic. Y'all ready to stop slacking? Well, let's get it cracking. Alright fam, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get this party started. So the first thing we want to do, as you see here, I already got the image pulled up. Now, um, I like, this is a really, this, to me, this was an extremely artistic uh, image. So I wanted to use that to really make uh, the effect pop and really make the, uh, well really make my thumbnail pop. <laughs> You know what I mean? So anyway, fam, you want to get some real good images for this effect. And what we're going to do here, <clears throat> I'm going to do another t t tutorial teaching y'all really the madness of this um, this pen tool, man. This pen tool is the god of all gangsters. So um, check it out. We're going to use this pen tool. Now, there's going to be a certain way you're going to use this pen tool. And I'm going to show y'all a little trick right now. The trick to using this pen tool, and I got actually, I think I got about two other tutorials. We're going to use this pen tool to make our designs, but then we're going to use a brush to actually have the uh, image of the pen tool. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll show you better than I can tell you. You want to go up here to your brushes here, and then you want to click on not the soft round, but like the hard round. So I'm going to double click that. And then um, you can uh, either adjust the size up here, or you can go to your keyboard shortcut. So let me... Um, let me cut off my cap lock. And as you see, you see this little circle here, that is going to be the size of my stroke, right? So watch this here, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna create a layer real quick and show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna create another layer and I'm just gonna show you the size of the stroke. Ooh, boom, bam, boom. Now that's the size of the stroke. But if you would notice, if you zoom in on here, you will see that it's a lot of unsteady movement. Well, we finna fix this with the pen tool. So let's just go ahead and delete that layer. Bam, we don't need that. And then let's go ahead and select this pen tool. Bow. Now let's go ahead and make a little slick, quick little rectangle, bam, whatever, boo, you know what I'm saying, right there. Oh, actually here, let me undo this because I'm gonna do some other like smooth effect. So let's just put this uh, behind her head and then we'll, we'll put it around there. Then we make it go under there and through her hand and bam, something like that, right? Now, what you wanna do while this is um, selected, you wanna have another layer here, right? And this is gonna be our stroke layer. So let's go ahead and call that stroke, bam. And then let's right click and then we're gonna hit stroke path bow and when we hit stroke path this is going to pop up it's going to ask us do we want a brush or you know a pen erase all that crap we're going to pick um brush and just hit okay bow and that now we just here let me right click we're going to delete that path so we can just see our stroke bam see we off and popping already we ain't even four minutes into the game right now check this out we're going to go ahead and select that and now what we want to do, we want to put this behind her head. Now, before we add the glow, we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and um, start erasing. Let me pick my eraser tool. Make sure we select the layer and uh, we can just start erasing. Now, um, we want to get in there and cheat, like zoom real in, you know what I mean? Bam, 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 boom, smooth. And then uh, we're going to do it like that. Bam, 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 bam. And I'm really, really trying to make this as fast as possible because everybody else on youtube is making it long and drawn out and it's to me it's just unnecessary right you know what i mean and we can make a smooth little thing and then we can here we can put it behind her hand right and then make it come from behind it just to give it some fun stuff to happen okay now that's beautiful right not ain't even got the glow on it yet now i'm gonna show you a few things we can do with this glow let's go ahead and uh, select our stroke again and then go up here to uh layer and then we're going to go to layer style and then we're going to go to outer glow and um uh, what we're going to do is 
um she got goals it's black and gold so we can either use a contrast and color i was talking to my friend uh one of my students and he's a friend also picasso um and we was talking about color schemes and things like that so we know the color combination um of uh gold can actually be either purple or and it depends on the gold because you know really gold like that's more brownish or whatever yellow you know but anyway um we can kind of work with the color scheme or the color opposites so we also know that orange that, that can be either gold and purple or orange and uh blue or orange and teal so i'm thinking maybe lean more towards the orange and teal for now uh, Cause there's some other things we're gonna do to make that pop and then we can adjust it now What I like to do to make this glow look realistic. I don't like to get all grimy at the beginning I like to build up on it. So for this layer, we're going to Do this right and then we're gonna adjust that just to, to taste and Some people like to put the inner uh, inner glow in but I don't really like to do that um, I can so let's say if we put the inner glow, um, as long as it pops off, let me see if we do that and we do that, as long as it makes it more vivid and rich to my eyeballs. Okay, let's see what Lanier Dodge do, and then let's turn it up. It's not really doing much, so we ain't really gotta really go out of our way with it. So we can really take it on, and you don't even see no difference, boom. So now what I like to do is here, after we hit okay, we got a good glow going. If you look at it, that's a really good glow, but we really wanna add some realism to it. So what I like to do is make another copy, bow. And then the layer, the, the other copy now is a little too strong, it's starting to look fake. So what I like to do is go in there with the other effect and then just soften that up. So let's blow it out a little bit more and uh, op drive the opacity down, you see? So now we got like, you know what I mean? Yeah, now that's, now look at the beauty in that. And it only took us six minutes and a half. Now we can add, here, there's one more thing I wanna do, let's check this, check this, I'll watch this. We're gonna add another layer, and then I'm gonna, we're gonna go ahead and then, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, get a blue tone, right? And uh, let's get the brush that that's fit. okay good that's a good soft brush good and then we're going to blow this up and then just oh wait a minute hold on that's it oh, make sure you select the brush sorry about that y'all make sure you had a proper brush maybe I'm moving too fast for my own britches um, and then we're going to have another layer and this is going to be the light layer that kind of falls on her face oops and make sure that this layer make sure that the color here is set to color i don't know if you can see that but uh, i'm going to go to color that way anything that i paint is only going to paint the surface so we know that light is going to spill a little bit so we let it spill on our head a little bit you know what i'm saying blow it up a little bit let it fade this over here might be too much so let's go ahead and erase that down a bit bam look at the beauty in that right and then also here uh, let's get back the paintbrush because you know light is going to fall right it's going to spill so we do something like that and do something like that right look at that let's look more realistic see you see look at that ain't that awesome I think it's awesome and then we can even go even further create another layer call this um, flare because that's gonna be like the lens flare and then uh, we're gonna hit uh, what, Lanier Dodge. And now let's bring out the highlights or the glints of these oranges by going in here and just doing like so, wow. So what's happening now is that you're really able to see the rich color tones and you can see, and then let's make it even more beautiful by lighting it up even higher and maybe, uh, maybe getting one sparkle brush. And I know we got a sparkle brush in here somewhere here. Here's one down here. You probably can't see it with the screen size, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and dig off in there and uh, get a little sparkle brush. Now this is slowing down my progress. I apologize for that. I like, usually like to keep these fast. And um, let's go ahead and shrink this. Or here, let's cap locks. Yeah, where's, where's my image? Maybe I gotta shrink it. Let 
All right, there you go. My caps lock was on, man. Cut that sucker off. Okay, let's put a little, little bling right there. Put a little spark right there. Bow. You know what I'm saying? Bam. And then guess what, y'all? We are done. This is done. That's a beautiful piece. It only took you a few minutes. And it shouldn't have took nine minutes, to be honest with you. But um, this is my approach. And this is the workaround. We ain't got to go through all that madness and all that other type of stuff they're doing. Because we're getting the same effect. Sorry about that. We're getting the same effect. I mean, we're using the simple tools that you can use that's already provided to us in Photoshop. All right, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to sub, like, and hit that bell so you won't miss a beat of that heat that I bring to my lead. Till the next time. See you in a minute. See you when I spin it. Peace.